In this video, I'm going to talk to you about account withholding with PayPal. So typically, you go through PayPal jail at the beginning. Then there's a period of time after that where most of your payments are received instantly, but random payments, random, will be put on hold for 21 days, kind of like you're still in PayPal jail. These payments that are put on hold are typically payments that are quite expensive, so it's when you receive you know, more than 100 or $200. This screenshot you're seeing right here is in pounds, so keep that in mind. You don't have to know about the conversion rate. I'll, I'll explain what this is in a minute. But typically, you go through a period of time after PayPal jail where there's some transactions that are put on hold. And what PayPal is doing now is they're waiting for a period of time to gather data on what kind of transactions your business gets. At some point, usually, you'll encounter this withholding limit. And the way this works is that you're still going to get the big transactions put on hold. But most transactions you will get instantly until you receive more than your withholding amount. In this case, this screenshot is from somebody who can receive 17,500 pounds a month, okay? So that means that they are limited to receiving 17,500 pounds of instant payments. Money that you, payments that you get that are put on hold do not go towards meeting this threshold. Once you exceed this amount, all of your payments will be put on hold as if you are still in PayPal jail, okay? So this is like semi-PayPal jail because most of your things are not going to be on hold until you pass this number. And you can get this number increased. It's like an eBay account limit, except the weird thing is that not all PayPal accounts have them, and when you do experience this, it's probably going to be temporary. You're going to have one of these limits, and I had a withholding limit for about four months. And it started off at like $15,000, and then they, I upped it to $25,000, and then $35,000, and then $45,000. And then it just vanished. And then after it vanished, there was another period of time where you're kind of in between, right? Where some of my money was put on hold, if it was a big payment, but most of my payments I received instantly. And then the rolling reserve got placed. So typically, you start with PayPal jail. Then you have a period of time. Then you'll have an account withholding limit like this for a period of time. And then after this, you'll get a rolling reserve. And as far as I know, rolling reserves are more long term. Once PayPal's kind of figured out what your business looks like, what kind of transactions you receive, all that kind of stuff, then they're, they're going to set you up with some kind of rolling reserve. Or maybe if you're lucky, you won't get any kind of rolling reserve. I do know that they do look at your credit. So PayPal doesn't normally report to your credit. Like if you miss a payment with PayPal, they're not going to tell your credit agency that you missed a payment un unless you let it really drag out and you fail to pay PayPal over a long period of time. And then they will eventually report you. But most of the time, they like making payments to PayPal on a regular basis doesn't help your credit. But PayPal does look at your credit to determine kind of your risk, OK? So if you have bad credit, like I do, then you're more likely to encounter these kind of limits. But if you have really good credit, then you're less likely to encounter these kind of limits. My roommate back in the States does the same business model I do, this bulk drop shipping mentality, right? He has really good credit, and he has yet to encounter any of these uh, withholding limits or rolling reserves. But his store is also like a, a quarter the size of mine. So we'll see with time whether he faces these or not. I have a feeling that he won't because he has really good established credit and I have not so great credit. So I'm working on that, but this is just one of the ways. And like I said, typically you start with PayPal jail. You have a period of time and then you encounter a account withholding limit like this. It's going to be a number a limitation on the amount that you can receive in one month. 
instantly. Any sales that are not given to you instantly will not go towards this number, okay? And then once the next month comes, it will reset, all right? And you can request increases on this, kind of like getting an eBay increase. But honestly, I tried to get an increase five times and I was rejected every single time. The only time that PayPal gave me an increase was when I got close to meeting my limit and then they upped it and they did that four times. So in this sense, when I had this kind of limitation, it was pointless for me to try and request increases because they literally declined every single one of them, but they gave me an automatic link increase every 30 days. So that worked out quite well. Hey. Oh, oh gracias. All right, guys. I will see you in the next video. Ciao.